from GCT. GCT is the world's foremost WiMAX chipset company. So if you want to have a device to attach to the WiMAX network, you need a device to have a WiMAX chipset. Just like if you want to have your laptop connect to your home Wi-Fi network, your laptop better have a Wi-Fi chipset. Right? It's the same concept. So in order for our devices to be attached to our network, we need those devices to carry the WiMAX chipset, either through a USB dongle or through a gateway or through uh, other means. So WiMAX chipset is fundamental to enable our ecosystem, to allow you as consumers to get onto the internet. So we signed this uh, historic agreement with GCT. In fact, it is the single largest order in WiMAX history, period, that we signed two days ago, right here in Malaysia. Again, so congratulations. Really, the, we, are, we are really creating history here in Malaysia. It's quite exciting. <laughs> so with a million chip that we acquire, they give us economy of scale. When you have economy of scale, what happens? Price go down. When price go down, what happens? You can enable more people to connect to the internet affordably. That's our goal, right? If you want a 10% internet penetration, what do you do? You don't raise the entry, you lower the entry, right? That's what we do. So um, with these three key foundation, Cisco, the world's best networking company, Samsung, the world's best wireless networking company, GCT, the world's best Biomax chipset company, we have the combination, we have the foundation, the trinity, to make this happen. So that is tremendous, because it's important not just to approach building all this network simply by, oh, let's just bring up a base station and see what happens. Well, you can do that, but then you get comments like this gentleman said. Well, I don't know which word you use, but that word was you know, certainly your personal experience. So you have to have that experience level. You have to use world-class products. You have to take a methodical approach to launch this network. You don't just launch and say, ah, good luck. <laughs> At least that's not my TL's approach. So uh, I think I also address how we go by competing with competitors, right? Um, Another thing that uh, you might ask me, I think you did ask me, what it was is that what about the 3G guys? So what about the 3G guys? Well, if you look at, uh, uh, we actually talked to some of the folks in the press, and they said that, well, you know, uh, Wayne, you come to this country, aren't you worried that this country is 100% saturated already? What's, what space do you have left? I said, well, it depends on how you measure. Because, as they say, there are lies, Damn lies and that's statistics, right? <laughs> so 100% penetration, okay? Well, let's talk about this 100% penetration. Um, if you look at mobile voice, absolutely 100%. In fact, this guy here is holding two handsets. So I think it's more than 100% for this fellow. <laughs> but our goal is not to let people just use this as a way to talk. Our goal is to deliver the internet. The internet is not about yapping. Right? The internet is about social network. The internet is about uh, you know, uh, doing, able to do your research, uh, being able to read books and all kinds of cool applications and uh, run your business, so on and so forth. So you look at penetration purely based on data. As I said, 25, that's the magic number. Only 25% of the people out there connect to the internet. That creates a fantastic opportunity for us. So 100%, yeah, you look at it based on the old paradigm. Yes, it's 100%. It's just yapping, yes. But yapping is not the only way to use the internet, isn't it? So we do believe that the opening is quite wide. And to the extent we deliver value, reliability, which is true to our brand promise, then I believe we can get customers to respond to us. At the end of the day, we have to earn your trust. At the end of the day, we, should not, we don't take anything for granted. We launch this network, but we have to work hard to earn your trust. And we will do that. All right. So. International aspirations. So YTL is a, certainly a global company. Uh, YTL has assets in Australia, in Singapore, in Indonesia, in Thailand, uh, in the UK, in France. So the point is that if you, can't even, if you can take care of things in your backyard, so to speak, then we can earn our right to expand our footprint to other parts of the world. If we get our business model right, if we understand the methodology to launch and manage and grow this nationwide network, of course we can take this uh, best practice and apply it to other parts of the world. We do have tremendous resources as a group, and we have the financial capital to apply ourselves to other parts of the world. So that answers your question. So check that off too.
All right, let's talk about the one million my price. Who don't want to hear about the one million price? All right, my price. When we launched this innovation network back in uh, late October, uh, we were talking about uh, the notion of creating a uh, platform to allow for application developers to bring their best ideas to our network, right? So that's the whole premise of the innovation network. So let's talk about developer for a second. If you look at the world's um, internet ecosystem, that basically is built by developers. Yahoo is a, bunch, uh, a couple of college uh, engineers, Jerry Yang and his friend, built a directory, which basically is software engineering work, and that's Yahoo. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, back at then, and Harvard, trying to connect to his friends, and that was the early stage of Facebook. So fundamentally, internet innovation is about getting developers to do their work and share that with the rest of the world. Internet is powerful because this is a low barrier of entry. It's an equal opportunity, level playing field, that anyone's got a good idea in Malaysia or in other parts of the world, you have this platform to bring that idea to the world. True to that spirit of internet innovation, we believe that what we deliver through our mobile YMX network is mobile internet. Right? Internet is going mobile because of our, uh, our technologies. So when the internet goes mobile, of course we want a new class of application that can take advantage of this mobility capability of the internet. Right? So if you look at um, the 3G applications today, how many of you use iPhone? Raise your hand please. Yeah. Okay, got it. That's a sample size here. How many of you use uh, BlackBerry? Windows Mobile? None of the above? <laughs> um, I think it's safe to say that what makes the internet come to life are the applications, such as the websites and so on. They are fundamentally applications. Uh, if you look at the mobile ecosystem, all these 3G devices, right? Uh, all these applications that runs on these 3G devices are optimized for narrow band because 3G fundamentally is a narrow band technology. It's not broadband. When you're only going at 200K or 600K, uh, 400K, that's not broadband. That's narrow band. So when we go 4G, we're going megabits. Of course, that's broadband. So imagine that. Any 3G application deployed on a 4G network, it's going to work just fine. Just like you can ride a bicycle on the highway, no problem. <laughs> but will you experience the speed? Will you enjoy it? You'll be sweating, but will you enjoy it? Our premise is that when we launch this network, we certainly welcome all these 3G applications. They will work just fine on our network, but they will just be bicycles riding up and down the highway. We want people to experience true mobile internet, which means that we want cars. We want fast cars, trucks, MPVs. So the point here is that when we launch this nationwide network, and we are the first in the world to launch this nationwide, again, another air collect to Malaysia, then we can truly use this network to bring about all these life-changing applications. And in order for these applications to show up, of course, uh, I can stay up late and write some application. Jacob can do the same thing, and others can too. Uh, we got Steve, who's a very, very astute programmer, and, uh, and Keegan is a good stuff. Uh, uh, say, Keegan, Pipe. What's the programming language that you enjoy? Python. Yes. I'm a Python guy. So, but we can stay up all night and write applications. But is that how the internet works? Not really. Internet works by providing this low barrier of entry that anyone with an idea has a platform to launch an idea. That's why we want to create this innovation network. Innovation network is created to ensure that we have a low barrier of entry environment to allow for all these developers to bring their cool ideas and launch it in Malaysia. We launch it in Malaysia, we also help you launch it in other parts of the world because we have global partnership with Clearwire. So, my price. Well, if you look at my price, uh, fundamentally, this is an award. Value at one million US, which should get your attention, I hope. To reward the best ideas to come to our network and to deliver to people's life. Because at the end of the day, you can have an idea to stay in the lab. But until that idea goes out to the real world, it's not going to change people's life. It's gonna, not going to impact people's life. We are about impacting people's life. We are about changing uh, the course for the better for this country. And you have to use application and devices to enable that to happen.